everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa Senpai. Um, I know in the last episode we uh, went ahead and got to learn um, a little bit about free time. We got to hear a little bit more about uh, Mai Zono's history with the band. And she kind of showed us a side that really makes me pretty nervous. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we, we have a sword in our room, which I still think is a really bad idea. Um, but now, uh, with free time, it seems like that's just kind of, you know, the game's way of saying here, you know, you wanna- Whoa, I don't need that. You wanna go get to know some of these people? Feel free, you know, here's what you gotta do. Just go talk to them, and you know, the more you hang out with them, the better off you'll get to know them, and all that fun stuff. And apparently you can also give them presents? I- I don't know how that's gonna work, and that is- that is a mechanic that has not been explained to me yet. But apparently that's the thing. So the first person that obviously the game wants us to talk to is my Zono again. Well, we're gonna go ahead and push the intercom. Maggie, I'm scared. This place terrifies me. Uh yeah, since you know apparently I can't do anything with anyone else. Are you trying to cheer me up? I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. Sure, you better be. I get to hang out with some cool people. Like Fujisaki, or Inoshima, or Yamada. <laughs> How sad is it that I would rather hang out with Yamada than my Zono? Oh dear. <laughs> I did everything I could to comfort my Zono. Yay, we bonded! I, 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 st I don't have one, I'm sorry. Oh no. Hey, uh, Nagi, would it be a problem if we could talk, maybe talk for a little? What's wrong? Why are you being so serious all of a sudden? Well, um, that would be because I'm seriously leaning on you right now, Nagi. Huh? <laughs> Just being with you, I feel so much less afraid, less uncertain. <laughs> I can't imagine how hard all this would be for me if you weren't here. <laughs> of course, it's still terrifying, but having you here by my side is somehow comforting. My Zono. To hear those words coming from her mouth, coming from Sayaka Maizono's mouth, I was ecstatic, but also probably tomato red. I feel the same way, Maizono. You being here has really helped me get through things too. Uh, really? Do you mean it? <laughs> I'm flattered. Maizono's smiling face has the mysterious ability to put my heart at ease. I wasn't exaggerating. Her smile really was what was carrying me through all this. Hmm. It's kind of funny, isn't it? I never imagined we'd be able to talk like this, like real friends. When we were in middle school, you would hardly even look me in the eye, never mind talk to me. It's rude enough to stare at a normal person, and you're a celebrity. W w wait, wait! How did you know about that? How did you know I wouldn't make eye contact with you? Um, because I was always sneaking glances at you. You were? At the sea. I was always on the lookout for a chance to talk to you. To talk to me. But I could never get a moment to myself, and graduation came before I found my chance. I still regret that. But why me, of all people? Oh no. Do you remember back in seventh grade when this huge bird got lost and ended up in the school pond? I think. I remember something like that, yeah. Hmm. It was a bird that shows up a, a lot in Japanese legends. It lives for a thousand years, the tortoise 10,000. The bird that got lost and wound up in the pond in seventh grade. Pretty sure it was- oh. Fuck! Ah! Ah! Um! Oh! 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 Um? Okay. I know for sure it's not a sparrow, so that's kind of a derp moment, but I'm probably going to show the world right now exactly how stupid I am. I, I don't think it's a heron. I think it's actually... I'm going to go with crane just because that sounds... That sounds right to me, and I'm probably wrong, but whatever. <laughs> Mako's just going to embarrass himself in front of in front of my zone. Oh, she's going to be like, wow, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> wow, you're such a fucking idiot. Leave me alone. Go away. <laughs> Never mind. Bye. Oh, okay. See ya. <laughs> it was a crane, right? <gasps> yes! Oh. Oh. 
Oh, Makoto. Dang. Whew. Okay. It was quite a sight, wasn't it? I mean, how often do you see a real crane? It was so big, even the teachers weren't sure what to do about it. <laughs> but you led it into the forest behind the school where it could get away. More like I got roped into it, because it happened to be my day to take care of the class pets. Would you allow me to express my gratitude for what you did back then? Why? Your gratitude? <laughs> oh my god! I'll have whatever she's having. <laughs> I'm sorry, I needed water. <laughs> I have to try and do this. I am that crane. And I have come to repay my debt. Allow me to weave a cloth for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, no sh Yeah, I know. But I really was moved by what you did, Nagi. Which is why I wanted the chance to talk to you. If only just once. <laughs> Though, I would never have guessed my wish would be granted quite like this. Perhaps we could have had some dramatic reunion out on the town or something. But as luck would have it, it ended up being here, in this creepy place. I've been thinking. Thinking that, just like you did for that crane, you'll come to my rescue too, Nagi. <laughs> it might be my intuition, but I trust it. Me? Come to my Zono's rescue? No chance in hell. <laughs> if only. I'll do my best. I'll make sure it turns out to be more than just intuition. If there's anything I can do, I will. <laughs> I believe you. My intuition is almost always right. <laughs> After all, I'm an Esper. <laughs> just kidding. She laughed again. The closer she and I get, the more I feel like her laugh, her smile, gives me strength. Oh, cool. Congratulations, you've acquired the skill. What? what? Why do I need a skill? What is this? What is that even gonna do for me? After partying with my Zono, I returned to my room for a little bit. Why do I have a skill? Somebody please tell me. <laughs> Uh oh. Eh, Funai Hoso des. Hogo, you dinginari masta. Tadai Mayori, Yorujika ninari mas. Mamonaku, Chokudoa, Doa Rok Sare Masno de Tatigi King Stonari Mas. Dewa Dewa, E. U. Meo. Good night. The end of another day. Tomorrow for sure, we'll find some sort of clue. We have to. As I shut my eyes, I went back over the conversation I had with my Zono this morning again and again. I was ashamed of myself. Why? Even though I could understand her anger, I couldn't empathize with her. Okay. The burden she bears is worlds beyond anything plain old me has ever experienced. She didn't enroll in this academy on a half-hearted whim like me. That's why I'm incapable of empathizing with her. She is... no. Everyone is completely different level than me. I was ashamed of that. Okay, that I can kind of get. Monokuma Theater! Yay! <laughs> Ahem. To all my wonderful viewers, the Acad Academic Coliseum is now well underway. And it's really rather amusing. Our new students so full of hope still believe they have a chance to escape. I wonder when it'll really begin. 
The first hopeful murder. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? What that guy said. Again, our ritual of throwing the pillow at the screen. Mm, I don't wanna. It's morning. What should I do today? Oh! Well, crap, it just automatically jumps, like, throws us into it. Okay. Um, and it doesn't look like we have any requirements to go speak with anyone in particular. Sakawa's was in her room. Being a nerd, she probably took. <laughs> she she reminds me. I I seriously think that this girl is just like, <sighs> like she, she's taking photos of Tagami, like just when he's not looking, and it's just like heavy breathing from her door, <laughs> like, like just just like, kind of like uh, Schmeagel from uh, Lord of the Rings. My precious. <laughs> Oh, dear, could you imagine walking by and just hearing that, like, from a door, from somebody's, like, dorm room? You'd be like, okay, you have fun with that, and just very awkwardly turn around and go back the way you came. But I digress, since we don't need to talk to anybody in particular, it seems like, um, it looks like most of the students are, um in the other section here so let's go ahead and head here because i want to know who's all hanging out in this area now there is one person who i have been actually dying to to do this whole free hangout free time thing with and that's actually going to be junko inoshima just because i i kind of have like a fondness for her she's she seems you know really different but at the same time you know like a total airhead but not like I I don't know I, I just kind of get the feeling that she's you know a lot smarter than she lets on which I think is true for you know most people who are in you know the entertainment business like especially in the supermodel area I could be wrong though so I'm gonna go ahead and run to the AV room and hang out with those two beautiful people so hi Asahina All right. Wait a minute. School shop. What the hell is that? Oh! What is this? This is the school shop. But it's like a weird mix of East meets West. Less like a school shop and more like a pawn shop. Psst. Oh, hey! I got another one of those thingies. I don't know what they do yet. Okay, yeah, well, I know. Thank you, Makoto. Hang on. Okay, so I can actually turn things and look at them. Vending machine. Well, it's, it's a school shop. Yeah, I got a point there. Alright, what else? That's the screen, and I think that the... Let me... Can I, can I get another one? I have a feeling I want to collect those. Ugh. Something about steering. Okay. Oh, yeah. He probably doesn't like that. Oh! And another camera. Of course. Exactly how long are we gonna have to live under Brother Bear's watchful eye? Forever! What does this thing do? What's this? Ah, could it be one of those thingies where you pull the handle and a prize comes out? Maybe. Uh, is there- I'm gonna read the manual before I do anything. <laughs> I have a- I have a bad feeling that if you don't read things, bad things are gonna happen. But you know, I've only played tons of games in my life. I could be wrong. Surely by now you've managed to collect a few of the small medals hidden around Kibugumine Academy. Yep. These mysterious treasures coveted by kings and peasants alike are called Monokuma medals. Sweet! I want one. You can see just how many Monokuma medals you've collected from within your Electro ID. Okay. 
By inserting Monokuma medals into the machine, you can acquire assortment an assortment of prizes. The more medals you insert, the more likely you are to earn a prize you do not have. Oh, okay, so basically it's just kind of like percentage based. You can view the prizes you've obtained in the present selections. Presents selection. Of, oh, okay, so this is how I get the presents. Sweet! Hell yeah, I want to give it a shot. Sure, one. Awesome. I don't know what that thing does. Let's do second one. What is that? It? Oh! Okay. I, that's all I've got. Um. Hmm. It's probably time to head out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. We're gonna look at our presents, dude. Okay. To go down until we find out what the hell these things are. Right? White rabbit earmuffs. Popular item by the guy. Oh, so this would definitely be Celestia's thing. So she would like that. Berserker car face. It's the wear strength like a berserker. In exchange for their life force. Hmm. You know, this is actually kind of a tough one for me to decide on. A part of me is thinking, you know, Yamada, because of the in exchange for their life force, this just kind of seems like something from his 2D love. <laughs> so, I, I either that or, you know, for like strength, I'm almost thinking like Uwada, because, you know, he's, he's very, very much, you know, seems very much like a, a strength person. Or it could even be Sakura, too, you know, with her being the fighter as well. God, I don't know. Let me know what you guys are thinking with about this stuff, please, you know? Because I have no freaking clue, and I'm worried I'm going to give it to the wrong person. But, you know, shit happens. So, yeah, if I'm about ready to screw things up, God, step right in and be like, Senpai, no! Just, like, smack me. Don't do it! All right, so we found like we got a couple of things then so that means Actually, if that's a thing I wonder if I should just creep around for a little bit and try and find some more coins. Hang on a second guys. I'll be right back Okay guys, sorry I'm back. Um uh, So while I uh, Was making my you know perusal around the store around the school not store good lord I'm in the store I managed to collect 14 of the Monokuma medals, so I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly um, see what all it is that I'm gonna get here. Okay guys, sorry that took so long. So here's what I ended up getting. I got a mineral water. <laughs> for those whose palettes are too sophisticated for the tap. Hmm. Let's see. Wonder who that could be. Totally not, you know, Tagami. Totally not. All right, we got glasses, forehead glasses. Um, while casting a particular spell, you will be granted the ability to speak with objects. <laughs> okay. Sounds like Hagakure. Oh, we already know about the earmuffs. Uh, here we go. Radio Kid doll. A uh, model, a doll model after the host of a popular kids variety program, Age Age Girl. That sounds a little bit like Yamada. Shears? That's weird. Because there isn't a barber or the students all have to cut their own hair. I have no idea who that could go to. I don't really like, I mean, I'd rather hold on to them than anything. We got the Berserker, so we knew about that one. Here we go. Moonrock. The rock taken from the moon landing. Well, that was weird. Uh, I have no idea who the hell would want that. Ashura's Tears. An ancient gem passed down from superhero to superhero. Friendship exists even among demons. Damn you. And then Tears. Um. Okay, that could either go to Yamada or Sakura. I don't know. That's a tough one. God, these are all, like, not very... A love button. Okay. 
It's price skyrockets around graduation. I got two of those. Don't know who the hell. Tamagushi. I got two of these. Shinto offering used to bring man and God together. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. God, I don't know. Some boring tickets. A master's fountain pen. Okay, this one I think would go to Yamada because he's definitely the writer. Uh, I can I can totally see it. A chin drill. A uh, unique key head. Power of the spiral. I don't know. School insignia pin, which is totally worthless. Do I have anything that I can even give to Inoshima? I'm gonna go hang out with her. Give her, give her the berserker. <laughs> oh, let's see. What would she like? I don't even think I would have. Well, maybe it would be the water. We could try and give her the mineral water, because maybe you know, being an idol. I, I don't, I don't. No, no, I didn't. I don't need that. I lied. All right, time to go. I'll try giving her the mineral water, see if that even does anything. I have no freaking clue. Alright. Hey guys, are you still here? Yeah, you're still here. God, there's like nothing to do. No way I could spend my whole life here. Not a chance. Not a freaking chance. What should I do? Ask Inoshima to hang out? Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't really care if you, like, want to hang out with me, but you've got to have something to talk about. Yeah, we can... whatever, man. We hung out. Wasn't sure if I was able to satisfy her. Oh, look at that smile. Little goof. Yeah, sure, let's see if I can... Uh, let me see. The mineral water is a good one. I don't think she'd want those, or the earmuffs. Or those, or those. Or I don't think she'll want that either. Akrasha's tears, I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe she'll want the prehistoric safari ticket. <laughs> you were the chin girl? I don't know, God. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna try this. <laughs> awesome! I'm like super happy right now. You're so thoughtful, Nagi. She seems to have liked it a bit. So, uh, I'll just like get this out of the way right now. Try not to get the wrong idea. Huh? About what? Hmm. I'm saying, don't expect any of that from me. Hmm. Chastity is important to me. Oh, you're... No, that... That's cool, but no, that's not what I'm talking to you. Huh? Uh, I wasn't even going for that, let alone expecting it. Uh, uh, I can buy that. You seem like that kind of guy. I mean, like, just look at you. You don't exactly strike me as a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto Nagi, pimp extraordinaire. But you know, better safe than sorry. Every guy's got a monster inside. A, a monster? <sighs> I seem to attract a lot of guys like that for whatever reason. Maybe because you stand out like crazy? <laughs> They'll say crap like, wanna go 24 at the KOB? Bah, I don't, don't think I can't see right through you jerks. Go 24 at the KOB, oh god. No! No! Ah! Oh god! I don't have fudge! Okay, um, go, 24 means to pull an all-nighter, but doing what? Okay, um, I don't, I don't, <laughs> cow tipping, no question, come on, wait, really, Chuko Inoshima, professional cow tipper, on this side, <laughs> supermodeling just doesn't make her enough, okay, um, Boxing? No, I... <laughs> professional boxer. 
Watch, in reality, she could probably beat the crap out of Sakura. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say she's definitely karaoke. Oh, right, an all-nighter at a karaoke bar. Huh? Hmm? What are you mumbling about? N nothing, never mind, don't mind me. Anyways, guys like that, they're all up to no good. Idiots. Every last one of them. It's hard work, you know, keeping guys like that away. Yeah, I bet. You are a supermodel. You're bound to attract a lot of attention. <laughs> Finally! Someone who gets me! Someone who feels my pain! <laughs> You're actually kind of sharp, aren't you? Uh, I guess? Maji, maji. Hey, hey! Want me to introduce you to someone sometime? What are you looking for? You're pretty laid back, so I bet you'd like, like, a really aggressive girl. <laughs> I could so see you with a girl like that. Someone who, you, who, you know, not a, someone who, someone, you know, not afraid to show off what she's got. I, uh, that's not, um. Hmm. I'll hook you two up as soon as we're out of here. <laughs> It'll be great. Just, you just wait. And with that, you know, Shima walked off waving both her hands at once. N not exactly sure what just happened, but I guess she's taking a liking to me? So, uh, how the hell do I know if that, like, th if it worked or not? Oh, I got a skill point. I don't- I still don't know if that present did anything. Okay, whatever. I'll go talk to her again. After parting ways with Inoshima, I returned to my room for a little. Okay. Alrighty. I got time left on it. No, okay. Uh, where are you this time? Okay, so Kirigiri's in the room. Yeah, okay, Fujisaki's in the room. Leon. Oh, okay. She's in the laundry room. Alrighty. Um. Hang on a second, guys. I'm wondering if the, uh,. Those Monokuma medals reset after each free time, or if it's every day. Give me one second. Okay, guys, uh, welcome back. Yeah, so I think it's like, you can only find so many, like, during the day, and I guess, like, with my little expedition, I found, like, everything that I needed to find, because I went back to several places, like the cafeteria, and I even searched in here, which is where I found, like, the most of the uh, Monokuma medals at this point. And it was coming up with nothing. So, yeah, on that note, I'm going back to Juko. Hey, Yanagi, you ditching again? Of course. Eh? Oh. I was getting kind of bored, too. Oh. Sure, why not? We can hang out for a little. I hung out with Inoshima. Yay! Um, yeah, you know what? Let me take a look and see. Could give her the mineral water. Um, and she doesn't need the glasses, nor the earmuffs, nor the scissors. <laughs> um, you. Um. Love button. I'm pretty sure she doesn't need any of that. <laughs> I want to give her. Let's give her. Let's give her this. Let's give her this. <laughs> awesome! I'm like super happy right now. You're so thoughtful, Maggie. She seems to have liked it a bit. Yabaiyo. Gah! I'm like seriously bored. So bored, bored, bored. I could die, die, die. Yaba, 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 yaba. No, like seriously, I am on the verge of death here. I is it really that bad? <sighs> I'm bad at dealing with boredom. <sighs> but I only just recently figured that out. Ever since we got locked up in here, I started to notice. A very recent realization indeed. <laughs> if we gotta be locked up, I'd rather be somewhere more, I don't know, outdoorsy than this. Outdoorsy? What? Maji, maji. Yeah, you know, like being homeless. I had that happen to me once. What? What? You did? Hmm. Yeah, well, like, you know, stuff happened. And now you're a model. Eh? Hmm. Pretty much. Like I said, stuff happened. Just how much had to happen? 
I'd much rather go back to being homeless than being stuck in this place. Okay, yeah, that kind of makes sense then. I can kind of see that. Certainly less life-threatening than being here. Whoa, don't underestimate the wilderness. You never know when an enemy or a beast might come after you. What? An enemy? A beast? Yeah, I'm about as confused as you are, man. I'm talking about people and things who, like, prey on the weak. Enemies and beasts. The world's pretty much nothing in but, you know? So, because I was, like, you know, right in the middle of all that, I toughened up a bit. What? Hearing someone who actually went through it talk about this kind of gives it some real weight. Anyways, we started going off in a weird direction. What I was try like trying to say is when the heck are we gonna get out of this place? <laughs> hey, guy upstairs, you listening? What do we need to do to get out of here? Come on, like really, I'm dying here. I won't tell anyone else. It can be your little secret. Ugh, seriously? This is nothing. This is seriously pissing me off. Well, yeah, he's not just gonna waltz on out and tell us how to escape. That'd be too easy. Oh, just try not to get any funny ideas, okay? Eh? Funny ideas? Ah, you mean like that killing stuff? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Seriously, I wouldn't even dream of killing someone. Huh? Wait, is that how I look to you? Do I, like, actually look like I might kill someone? No, that's not how you look. Yeah, I know, right? Huh? But, like, were you worried about me, Nagi? That's actually kind of cute, you worrying about me. I think my heart, like, stopped for a second. Uh... <laughs> I'm teasing! You think I was serious? You're funny. I actually kind of enjoy talking to you. <laughs> Let's do this again sometime. Giving me an exaggerated wave, Hinoshima meandered off into the distance. Once again, I feel like I'm, I've been left in her dust. Am I being messed with? Hey! Oh. Okay, I got a skill. Okay, cool. After parting ways with Hinoshima, I returned to my room. I think all you can do is two, right? I said only a couple. Okay. Awesome. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm gonna breeze past that. Just because we've already heard, you know, enough of what's going on. And, um, I think that's actually a really good place to go ahead and end it there. I know, like I said, I'm trying to keep it between, you know, 30 and 40 minutes just because it's so long. There's so much crap for us to do. So, yeah, we're done with the third day. We got to know a little bit about Junko Inoshima, who's apparently an outdoorsy supermodel. That's kind of awesome. But, yeah, um, I'm kind of curious to take a look at the skills and see exactly what it, what it is that they do in the next bit. Uh, after that, I mean, I think I might end up talking to Chihiro or, you know, Yamada. Just, I don't know. Maybe even, you know, a little, get a little bit more background on Junko. I'll, I'm going to end up bugging Tagami eventually, but that's just kind of my plan. Go ahead and let me know, you know, in the comments below what you guys think that I should be doing next. Or if I'm, like, totally ballsing this up so badly right now. <laughs> Um, on that note, go ahead, like, favorite, and subscribe. If you guys want to go ahead and support the channel and support this, you know, series that we're doing, that would be totally awesome. And I will see uh, everybody in the next episode. Bye!